Welcome back to my tutorial. In this part, it's our filling in the nose part. Um, you see, we did a side outline in the top and bottom. And we'll start from the beginning here, from the nose. I go three out, or three wide, and four down. So we do one layer here, one layer on the opposite side. And that's three blocks and four blocks. So three wide, four down. The next one will be one out. So bring it down here. Click it, so one out. And the next one will be two wide. And one out here, so go down. And then from here, I like to do a pattern. I start doing a pattern for the hole. Um, everybody has their own patterns, their, their own build styles. This is what I use. Um, from learning how to do to shape these aircrafts, I've come to use this pattern here. Um, but like I said, everybody has their own style, and you can use your own. <clears throat> don't have to copy mine one. You don't have to use the, use the exact same style. This is what I come up with that looks you know best for me. Everybody has their own thoughts. You know, everybody sees things a little different. So it's too wide, too wide here. So oh, and we go back up. One about there. So basically the pattern <clears throat> the pattern I like to use is from the previous block where I st start here, from this block, the next block starts one block above. And inversely on the bottom side, this block starts here, the next block starts one below. And you can see in this layer here is three wide. This block will start here at place this block, one block lower. And bring this up. Bring this on up. Yeah, for this part here in the top part, I line this one in, in the exact same same pattern, same location, I guess, going backwards. And just make the blocks then connect backwards, slanting backwards. See, so we end this one one higher. So out, like that. So this one, the slant I'm talking about is this portion here going back and this portion coming back as well and the meet, you know, meet in the middle. And I please try to create that pattern all the way back. So it's 3Y, come down, and finish this bottom part. And basically it's all about creating an illusion. Um, not so much as block placements, but using the block placements as a tool to create an illusion of the design, of the curvature parts of the plane, and part of it is again the illusion of the aircraft the nose part the curvature part in the design of the aircraft um, whoops there you go this way so basically what I'm pattern I use I try to use it to create um, create the narrowing of the nose cone as you know you look at the planes um, as you go from the you know hull of the aircraft, the body part of the aircraft down to the nose, it narrows down to the nose and so I use this pan to kind of try to create that illusion of it narrow, narrowing to the nose and I believe it does that and so this one's three out again so again we go one above this part how it's supposed to be <laughs> but yeah, if anybody ever s looked at my previous builds the first build I, I ever tried making on Minecraft my plane was really not that great um, but I didn't know what I was doing at that particular time I didn't understand the patterns of you know, trying to make the nose cone, and so it's just trying to improve along the way. 
in creating these patterns, understanding that it is all about an illusion. Um, I didn't understand it when I first made one, and I actually wasn't even planning to keep making these planes. And the first time I tried it, I was just trying to do it just to see if I could. It was something just you know fun to do. But when I when I finished the first one, it, it was really fun. I you know I enjoyed making it so. You know, I, I built another one, and after that one, it was, you know, see if I could actually make one really accurate and make one re look really good. So I kept, you know, kept at it and kept trying to improve what I've been doing. And I think I've improved a whole lot since I first started. I think my planes come out pretty accurate now. And let's see, here's two, two, three, three and three, three again, next one is four, so it's filled here. Uh, and this was one down, so I'm a little higher. Bring it down. Let's bring this out. And that's good. In. So, it's kind of hard to explain the exact placements that I used to make the patterns on the bottom here. But like I said, you don't have to use the exact patterns I'm using, you can create your own. It's just the pattern I've used. Um, everybody has their own designs. Um, if you've seen, most of you probably have seen, you know, Mega Transats videos. Um, he makes very good planes. He comes out really well. And three, so it his, his planes comes out very well. But again, he, he's using different patterns than I am. I mean, though our planes actually come out similar and very good but he uses different patterns so as I was saying you don't have to use the exact same patterns you know you're just trying to create that illusion that illusion of the plane itself so it comes out generally in you know how the plane actually looks when you make it see it's very tedious work doing this um, it's a lot of or at least for me, it's a lot of backtracking at times, trying to get this correctly. <laughs> I always tend to make a lot of mistakes at times. I have to go back and correct each one. As let's see, so that's the third one. If you can plainly see, I'm going constantly going back and doing this no this is correct yeah I'll probably fix it later if it, it's not but I'm constantly making mistakes and you know changing the patterns here and there um, not all my planes have the same same patterns some have come up I've used different patterns sometimes depending on the plane itself and how much blocks I have to work with um, so it's not always the same but I generally try to keep the patterns similar oops and this is already coming out once so this is the fourth one here so this is one above this one and this is coming up here So we'll go to the bottom. Oops, missed. So this actually stops here. Like, like that. Something like that. Let's see. And it was like. Hmm. Is that the, the, seems a bit off. Yes, it was supposed to be like this, I believe. And 
this one was supposed to be from here. This one already started too bad. So at this point from where it starts off. The rounder look for the bottom part of the aircraft. Um, you can kind of see the pattern I have on the top and bottom of the aircraft. I use it as a part to show the narrowing part of the nose. Um, you see it better when I finish. When I finish this aircraft, you see it a lot better. And the thing about this is it for this video. So I'll finish it up in the next video.